Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I have another word to release to you guys today. And the title of this word today is called an outpour, all right? An outpour. Now the Lord has been speaking to me and he spoke to me a lot about this word, okay? And the first thing that he said was people be hating because they know you have the Lord in your life, okay? Hey, people are going to hate you simply because you have the Lord in your life. They're going to be jealous simply because you have the Lord in your life. They don't like the fact that God is using you, okay? They want it to be them. They want the position. They want the recognition. All this stuff that you never even asked for to begin with, okay? They want this, okay? And they're going to be mad because the Lord is in your life and he is using you, all right? Certain people have not gotten in their relationship with the Lord where they're supposed to be and they see that God is elevating you and continuing to bless you and use you and push you up in the spirit, okay? Some of these people believe that they are better than you. They feel like they are wiser than you. They feel like they are more spiritual than you because they don't believe fully in what God is doing in your life. He has not completely shown them the power authority that he has given you in the earth and because he has not fully removed the blinds off their eyes, only enough for them to see that he is using you but they still deny the fullness of God in you then they can't see and they wouldn't even be able to take the wise and sound advice that God has shown you about the season that they're entering and the things that they are about to endure they are upset because the Lord is in your life and he is using you and they're upset because they don't think it should be you they don't think you deserve the position that God has given you but God is going to show them when he's ready to show them the fullness of who you are don't even worry about them talking about you, okay? To the side, outside, on the phone, whatever. It's not even you that they are coming against. It's God that they are coming against, okay? But God has told you and called you to speak and to say and to do. They don't fully believe. And until God wants them to see and believe, they just won't be able to. So don't even stress yourself or worry about the fact that they have hating spirits. They have jealous spirits. They have spirits and gateways in them that Satan has still got them choked up in because they don't want to really believe in the fullness of God that is operating in you okay and then God said an open pour okay and what God is meaning by this is that an outpour of his wisdom knowledge and understanding is about to be poured out into his people okay in the earth I mentioned in my last video about um how your old men will dream dreams and your children's children will see visions and stuff like that like this stuff is real God is saying he is about to have an outpour of his wisdom, his knowledge, and his understanding out unto his people because that is where he is at. That is what he wants to do in the earth right now. All right? And then the Lord said, individual computers, okay? God is saying he is about to give you a vision for your life, okay? Maybe you've been wondering what you should be doing. He's kind of got you in a space where he wants you to sit down and just be intimate with him and figure things out that he wants you to do in the earth. He is saying he is about to give you a vision okay about your life he's about to give you a plan for your life about what he wants you to do for your life and not what you want to do okay his will not yours and then i had a vision i seen a tooth and a tool for pulling it out okay god is saying he's about to heal some people from some things that have been bothering them whether it's heartache whether it's pain whether it's trauma whatever it is sickness he's about to heal he's about to remove that dead thing that dead tooth that thing that don't belong he's about to pull it out he is about to remove it okay and then i saw a girl from my past taking heed to what i said okay and this is just god saying that for those that are in the positions of authority and doing what god has called you to do and say and speak god is saying that they are taking notice of you the people from your past whether it's an old friend an old acquaintance an old co-worker whatever they're paying attention and they are taking heed to the things you are saying because you are ultimately going to draw them closer to the lord okay which is great okay saving souls is what we need to be doing on the earth all right spreading the gospel of jesus christ they are taking heed okay and they are going to be closer to god because of you being in obedience to what God told you to do, all right? God said, coach what Jesus said, all right? God is saying he wants you to preach the message of Jesus Christ in the earth. You can't be a believer and be quiet about Jesus Christ, thinking that just go to church on Sundays and go about my business the rest of the week. No, okay? God is saying spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Coach people, teach people about Jesus Okay, and it don't have to be um, you being religious. It could be your lifestyle being an example of Christ, okay? But still, God wants you to go about the earth and preaching who Jesus is, who he was, 
what his mission was, what he wants all of us to walk like and be like in the earth, okay? Coach what Jesus said, show it and be it, okay? The Lord then said, Bible scripture, me and her. Now, what God is saying, this is a two-part message. God is saying me and her, meaning you and Holy Spirit, okay? For some people, if God is getting you into a season of isolation or a season of wilderness, this means he wants you and the Holy Spirit to be studying the word, okay? So you being able to sit with the Holy Spirit and allow him to give you truth and revelation is what he wants, okay? Studying the Bible with the Holy Spirit, okay? toning out all other voices now on the flip side of this message for some of you god has you into a space to where you know certain people around you are not where you're at spiritually um they believe that they are spiritually better than you and all of these things they believe they are wiser than you um and god has not told you to open your mouth about certain things um because sometimes people can only understand god from where they're at and if you have been through seasons that these people are now just about to enter, then there are certain things that they just wouldn't understand about what you understand. And so God is not calling you into fellowship with them, okay? But on the flip side of this, if God is putting it on your heart to study with someone, you will know this because God is showing you or telling you who this person is or who these people is that he wants you to be studying the word with, okay? So for some of you, it's Holy Spirit. You're studying with Holy Spirit alone, okay? For others of you, you, he is putting on your heart to study or to um, fellowship with the Word of God with a specific person or with a group of people and you will know because he has already been speaking that to you who those people are okay and so yeah that's what God said and then the Lord said hood rat culture isn't supposed to be cleaner than ours all right God is saying that the world should not be cleaner than the people that are saved okay the world should not look cleaner than the people that are saved, all right? You got the world, the Bible says evil will be good and good will be evil. You got the world looking more appetizing than Christ, okay? The world should not look more appetizing than Christ does, okay? And that's because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. There's a lot of comfortable Christians, okay? Um, I don't put that title on me, but a lot of people call themselves Christians, and that's a whole level of comfortability right there, putting God in a box. Why is the world looking more appetizing than Jesus Christ, okay? And God wants y'all to get out in the world, okay, and spreading Jesus Christ. You got people who are believers that are starting to think that the world looks more appetizing than God, and they've already been believing. And so something is wrong with that. And God is saying that the hood rat culture isn't supposed to look cleaner than ours. Okay? We are slacking in our belief in Jesus Christ. We are conforming in our belief in Jesus Christ. So if you ain't been doing the work for the Lord Jesus Christ in the earth, it's time to start. And if you look warm, okay, and you've been letting the world influence you, I encourage you to seek God more. I encourage you to be more intimate with him in prayer and worship because there's nothing the world can give you that's better than what God can give you. The world can't offer you peace and joy. The world can't offer you salvation, but God can, okay? Some of y'all need to get it together when it comes to what you are entertaining and what you um, believe in, all right, because the world is not better than Christ. And that's not the image that believers should be given off because some believers are lukewarm that they are given off a different image. By the way they live in their life is different from what they preaching and teaching. They making people believe that the world is better than Christ. And that ain't it. All right, so let's get on our Christly duties, our Christly jobs and spreading the gospel and living it, okay? Don't just be preaching it, live it, show it, be a living example of the goodness of Christ. All right. The last thing God said was through email relationship. Okay. And so God is saying that there is a relationship that is about to come about in your life for who this part of the word applies to through email. Okay. So somebody's going to be reaching out to you whether this is a friendship a business relationship a partnership of some kind he said through email this relationship is going to happen so 
for who that is for and maybe in your spirit take it back to the lord but that is what the lord is saying okay and so yes guys god is saying an outpour of jesus christ is about to be coming upon the earth and is about to be coming upon the world okay who god wants to be saved in this world will be saved god's will will be done in the earth an outpour of the lord is about to be poured out into the earth and so that's all i have for you guys in this word today make sure you guys follow me on social media facebook is chelsea j j a i instagram is at underscore chelsea j the letter j and tiktok is chelsea dot j a i i will see y'all in the next video and y'all have a blessed day bye